Lesson 4 Puzzles in your surroundings Why does it hail even in summer? Now in this lesson, we are going to learn something about hailstones. Now what are hailstones? Small balls of ice that fall like rain from the sky are called as hailstones. Let me read the lesson and explain it to you. We feel very hot in summer. The sun shines brightly and the temperature is high. And then suddenly there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining. Not just water but even small balls of ice. We say it has started hailing. The small balls of ice are called hailstones. Why does it hail in the hot summer season? Now here in this paragraph we see that we feel hot in summer. Summer is a season where the sun shines brightly and the temperature is high. High means more. And then suddenly there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining. Now you know that when there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining, what comes down? Droplets of water. But sometimes with these water droplets, there are something called small balls of ice. Now when the small balls of ice come down, we say that it is hailing. Now these small balls of ice are called hailstones. But why does it hail in the hot summer season? Let's find out. As we move up from the land, the temperature begins to fall. Up in the sky, it is very cold even in the hot season. You know that there are water particles in the clouds that we see in the sky. Very high up in the sky, the water particles in the clouds turn into little bits of ice. Now we are all aware that as we move up from the land, that is, for example, if you have been to places like Kulu Manali, you know that when you are moving upwards and you are going away from the land up, the temperature begins to fall. That is, the temperature becomes less. Up in the sky, it is always cold, even in the hot seasons. Now, you know that there are water particles in the clouds. Water collects in the clouds and when they become heavy, they come down as rain. But when it is very high up in the air, the water particles in the cloud turns into little bits of ice. What happens now? Sometimes there are strong winds in the clouds. They push these little bits of ice upwards. So they do not fall to the ground. They go up and collect more water particles which freeze onto them. Thus, the tiny balls get bigger and bigger. They turn into hailstones. The heavy hailstones then fall to the ground in the form of a shower. Now, sometimes what happens? There are strong winds in the clouds. Now, because of the winds, they push these little bits of ice upward. Now, when it is pushed upward, what happens? They do not fall to the ground. They go up and they collect more particles, more water particles. Now when it is up, I told you the temperature falls. So these water particles freezes like in the refrigerator. If you put water because of the temperature which falls, the temperature in the fridge is less. At times zero degree or even lesser than that. So water turns into ice. Similarly, when you are up in the sky, the temperature is less and so the water particles turns into ice, freezes. Thus, the tiny balls get bigger and bigger. Now when they become bigger, it turns into hailstones and the heavy hailstones then fall to the ground in the form of shower. Very tiny hailstones melt before they reach the ground. They turn into drops, raindrops. But some hailstones reach the ground before they melt. Now very tiny hailstones, they melt before they reach the ground. As they are falling, 
from the clouds the hailstones starts melting and they come down as droplets of water rain drops but some hailstones when before reaching they melt now what happens a light shower of hail can be great fun but a hail storm storm can cause great damage to crops plants and animals now when these hail stones come down as water droplet they melt and sometimes fine ice particles also come down as showers in the form of showers now that is called hail and it's fun but a hail storm can cause great damage to crops plants and animals now what happens now in maharashtra what happened some years back maharashtra was hit by a series of hail storms in 2014 the hail storms devastated thousands of acres of standing crops fruit crops were ruined birds and animals were killed and injured in large numbers farmers suffered heavy losses it was a great natural calamity now in the year 2014 maharashtra was hit by a series of hail storms not one but many a times maharashtra faced hail storms now because of these hail storms that is when heavy particles of ice come down they don't melt but they come as huge ice balls they come down and they spoil the crops the fruits are spoiled or ruined birds and animals are killed and injured now farmers also suffer heavy losses because of this hail storms this is also one of the natural calamity like earthquake so it it causes a lot of damage to crops and even birds and animals now in the remaining part of the textbook page 9 you can see some activities you can read it and do it with the help of your parents